And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Euskelosaurus, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Euskelosaurus was a platyosaurid sauropodomorph. See, still got that theme going. That lived in the late Triassic, early Jurassic, in what is now South Africa and Lesotho in the Elliott Formation, as well as Zimbabwe in the Mapandi Formation. It looked like other sauropodomorphs. It had the long neck and tail, long arms, long claws, a small head. It probably walked on two legs. For a sauropodomorph, it was large and robust. It was estimated to be about 33 feet or 10 meters long. The type species is Euskelosaurus brownii. The fossils were found in 1863 by Alfred Brown, found limb bones and vertebrae, and then it was described in 1866 by Thomas Huxley. The genus name Euskelosaurus means good leg lizard, and the species name, you could probably guess, is in honor of Alfred Brown. In 1979, Heerden suggested that Euskelosaurus was more bow-legged based on the way that its femur was twisted. Weird. Yeah. Another specimen with a skull was found in 1994 in the Elliott Formation, and that got published about in the year 2000. And the specimen at the time may have been one of the oldest known dinosaurs. They found that Euskelosaurus was more basal than the sauropodomorph Riohosaurus, one of the earliest sauropodomorphs, because the neck was not quite as long and the brain case was slightly more primitive. Juvenile Euskelosaurus fossils were found between 1995 and 1997, and then published about in 2001, in the Elia Formation. There are fossils of Euskelosaurus that include juveniles and adults. The fossils were found in a bone bed, and it's thought that those specimens were killed by flash floods. Based on the size of the juveniles, they were between 23 to 49 inches or 58 to 125 centimeters long, they're probably, quote, precocious juveniles that could forage with their mothers. That is really small because you said the full-grown one was, what, 10 meters, Mm -hmm. 33 feet long, and these are under a meter, a lot of them? Yeah, so probably pretty young. And it makes sense that you'd think it was a flash flood because how else do you get so many of them buried at once? It's usually one of those big sort of burial events. Mm -hmm. Now, some scientists have in the past considered Euskelosaurus to be a wastebasket taxon. At one point, Platyosaurus was considered to be Euskelosaurus. Platyosaurus cullingworthi was named in 1924 by Sidney Houghton, and the species name is in honor of T.L. Cullingworth, who collected the fossils. Then in 1932, Friedrich von Huhn renamed it as its own genus, Platyosaurus, which means grandfather of Platyosaurus, and that's why the two names sound so similar. How can just adding, making it of us rather than us, make it grandfather? That seems, Latin is fancy. (laughs) (laughs) It is. That AV makes a really big difference. (laughs) But then in 1979, Jacques von Heerden reassigned it to Euskelosaurus. Adam Yates later suggested using Platyosaurus, but I think most people say Euskelosaurus. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Euskelosaurus include the sauropodomorphs like Blicanosaurus, Melanorosaurus, and Maroctenos. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.